All right, it's here, the Genki Shadowcast. This is a brand new device that will enable you to capture any HDMI source like your Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, anything that has an HDMI. You can plug it directly into your PC or Mac and you'll be able to capture it and stream it in seconds. So let's find out how it works, so tune in. Okay, so here we go. There's the shadow cast. Like I said, you can actually use anything, your Nintendo Switch, your desktop, anything that has an HDMI, you can plug it in and it plugs in via USB-C, but you can also use an adapter too. So it says here, you know, just plug your laptop or your desktop into your Nintendo Switch and you're good to go. It works uh, on any PC and can do 4K at 30 frames per second or 1080p at 60 frames per second. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. Now, I was a Kickstarter backer, so I believe I paid around $40, and this, uh, again, is gonna retail for $50, but I got it pretty early, and I'm really excited for it, too. All right, so we get a nice sleeve here, and it's Genki, and I will say, like, all the material and packaging they do is is very, very nice from human things, so the the brand here is nice. And I love the the box art here. So it says, don't forget the cable, because it's underneath. There it is. And here it is. Here's the uh, shadow cast. It's a very small... HDMI dongle and again don't forget the don't forget the cable there it is so you know comes with a really nice cable it's a braided um, very very nice USB-C USB-C we'll open that up a little bit more here too and see what that looks like but again don't forget the cable I like that little ninja in there um, yeah so the cable's super nice it has uh, two different kinds of end caps you know it says Genki on it which is nice and branded so you get that T shape and you also get just a direct line in so you get to pick whatever's working well for your machine, which is nice. You get a Genki sticker, so you can slap that on whatever you want. And of course, an instruction manual that just tells you what the box told you to plug it into your computer, plug it into your switch and launch the Genki arcade app. And that's it. So let's do it. I'm ready. Let's go for it. All right. So here is my Nintendo switch and here is the Genki. So again, we're going to plug it in Now, I could plug it in to the USB-C here. Um, if you have USB-C on your machine, then go for it. Uh, for example, if you have a MacBook, you know, you have USB-C ports there and that'll work great, but I'm gonna plug it into my desktop machine. So what that means is I need a USB-C to USB normal uh, adapter. And I have this plugged into a USB 3.0, so it is nice and fast. And this is uh, from my Nintendo Switch uh, controller, which works well plug in the HDMI adapter and simply plug it in to your Nintendo Switch. Of course, you need to put it in the right way. And that's literally it. Um, that's all you need to do. And you're done. Ta-da! All right, let's fire it up. So what you need to do first is head over to the Genki Things website, and you can browse all of their amazing products. We've reviewed basically all of them. But uh, the Shadowcast is in the drop down here, and you can pre order it on Indiegogo still, I think, and it's going to be $50. Gives you some information, and you can download the Genki console from there. But you don't even need to, to be honest. If you have OBS, you can come into OBS and simply add it as a video capture device. It'll show up right in your drop down list. No software required at all. There it is, at least on Windows. I'm not sure about on Mac. Uh, but there it is. It immediately shows up. And as you can see, there's actually two audio mixers going there because it also adds it as a microphone input, which is very, very nice. So you can see it happening right there. So nothing else to really pre-configure. And you can go into your advanced audio settings and you can see it as a mic too. Uh, if you go into the OBS settings, you'll see that I have my normal audio and then default. So it kind of does hijack your default, but you can select it in the shadow cast drop down there, which is nice. A lot of people prefer to disable all of those in OBS and manually add an audio input capture. And when you do that, you'll also see that the shadow cast shows up right there. So you can control the audio levels manually if you decide to, which is very, very nice. Uh, that's it. It definitely just works as is. Outputs 1080p and you're done. You can play anything you want and you're good to go. But let's try that ganky software that Genki Arcade, because this is probably how most people will do it. And you guys download it and boot it up really quick. It's a very small download. Um, and it'll launch a desktop application and connect to the Genki. And there it is. It literally just is a small application and you can full screen it and you're done. 
Uh, there are two modes though. This is kind of cool. There's favor performance, favor resolution, and a volume slider. So you do get some additional control here. And let's do some side-by-side -side comparisons of favor resolution and favor performance. I will say that the there's a big difference here uh, overall. The text is crisper. The image is crisper. It is definitely coming in at full resolution. So let's go ahead and play a game uh, here. Let's say Medieval Madness. And let's go ahead and just start it up. So you can see the gra graphical difference on this in performance mode. You can see it's a little bit more grainy, just not as crisp as when you are in this favor resolution mode, which is nice. And once we get the full table up, you'll really be able to tell the difference too. So overall performance mode, so not as crisp resolution mode. I think it's a 60 frames per second versus 30 frames per second thing, but looks great. What if you're in a Zoom call, for example, or you're on Teams, you're on some other Discord channel? Let's go ahead and go ahead and join up and select the shadow cast as my, there it is, boom, it's done. I will say I've tried this in a few pieces of software. It does come in in a weird resolution. I am in the browser though, so that could be it. Another thing you can do is if you're on OBS on Windows, uh, you can take that entire frame and start a virtual camera. I have a whole video on this to use, uh, use this thing here, but you can start the OBS virtual camera. And uh, of course, if you had it up previously and the Zoom client's a little bit uh, janky over here. So let's go ahead and reboot and select the OBS virtual cam. And when you do this, this will use your entire you know, OBS output using the Genki right here. You can still select the Genki uh, right here, which is kind of nice too. So you can share the audio or use your own microphone, whatever you want to use. And there you have it. You're using it all. You're done. Oh, there you go. That is the shadow cast. I mean, it's pretty awesome. I mean, it just kind of works to be honest with you. I've had a lot of different capture cars and I have one internally here with my Elgato capture. I have a cam link, which is really, really great. Now, these are all different devices that cost quite a lot of money, 100 to 200 and sometimes even more. Um, I will say that they're usually a little bit more flexible um, as far as, you know, what you can plug into it and controlling the audio and the software that comes with it. But if you're just looking for something super simple to capture your device or any HDMI device like your Switch or your PlayStation or your Xbox, the Shadowcast is a great option coming in at $50. It's really, really great. Like I said, I was a Kickstarter backer, so I got it a little bit early, which is great, but you can still pre-order it. Um, and I give it 10 stars. I don't know. It's great. It's like any other capture device. It works awesome. I hope that you enjoyed this video and other tech reviews that I have here on my channel. I hope that you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. If you super duper like it, that goes into the Google algorithm of goodness uh, and recommends it for everything else. If you're looking for some gameplay, you can check us out at twitch.tv slash Nintendo Dispatch and check out the Nintendo Dispatch podcast for Nintendo goodness coming into your podcast application every single week. So that's going to do it. So until next time, thanks for watching.